Gossip Movie Review from 2000. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Gossip from 2000. Now, this movie is very similar to Scream. This is kind of like a Scream style copy or clone or something that was inspired by Scream. We had so many similar movies to Scream right after. Some of the better ones are Urban Legend, in my opinion, I actually really enjoy that one. And then also a movie I just reviewed called The Curve. Those are probably some of my favorite ones. And then also, of course, Scream 1 and 2. I like those two. It's dark, it's dreamy, it's R-rated. It's about this typical big, illustrious, college campus. I actually really like these movies personally. They're kind of like a guilty pleasure from the late 90s, but I actually went on a spree watching every movie that was anywhere close to Scream, and I ended up seeing this one. The cover didn't reveal too much. They said it was like Scream, but then it's called Gossip, and then you look at about it. This isn't really a horror. Nobody's dying, so it's like, I guess it's like Scream, but it's called Gossip. I just don't know if I'm going to be interested. A movie reviewer that I really like named Cody Leach was talking about some movies and he ended up talking about a movie called Skulls. Now Skulls is like a 2000 movie with Joshua Jackson and Paul Walker. I actually wanted to watch it because of Paul Walker. I ended up not doing a movie review on that one just because I didn't have that much to say. I was still in that vibe of like I want a good you know late 90s 2000s movie. I don't know why I was on the vibe so I ended up looking came across Gossip. It's not rated that high but it's rated a little higher than Urban Legend so I'm like hmm okay maybe it has has some good parts to it and I actually was pleasantly pleasantly surprised especially if you go to the reviews a lot of people will say and I'll agree I'll get into the pros and cons that the ending and the last parts of the movie could be better but a lot of people really liked it very few people were giving it like a one two three or four which is pretty crazy for a horror movie or a movie so out there like this one the basic premise of this movie is obviously all about gossip it's kind of got this very mysterious vibe to where pretty much the whole movie there's little bits of gossip going on. I mean, they start with a nice easy joke and then later on they go into class and then the class whole thing is about rumors and then you're supposed to do this project on gossip and rumors. They're like getting kind of infatuated with it and like, okay, well, let's just start this rumor and then kind of track where it goes. And it's just such an interesting premise and idea because it could be done so bad and so wrong. But the way that this movie's filmed, it's the very, very mysterious and it can show you how easily things can snowball out of your control after you've started or been involved with the rumor. Pros is that it has a good cast and good acting. A lot of the people in this movie went on to do very good things. The main female character is the queen from Game of Thrones, just a huge character now. One of the guys, he was from Boondock Saints and he was also from The Walking Dead. Everyone knows him from The Walking Dead, but I think of him from The Boondock Saints. I think his name's like Norman Reedus. James Marsden. James Marsden was, I think he was in the new Sonic and he used to play Superman on Smallville. I just actually really like James Marsden. Never had a problem with him. I think some people were complaining about his acting in this movie, but I liked it. And then you also had Kate Hudson, which was, she was pretty famous in the early 2000s. She's not featured as much in this movie. And then also Joshua Jackson, who was huge in the late 90s. They have a smaller portion in this movie, but they are still pretty pivotal. All right, guys, another pro of this movie, it's, it's very slim and stylish a lot of people were saying that in the reviews but it just is especially for being you know in around the 2000s like it's got that vibe of okay this is outdated but it's got this smooth slick electronic music that flows really really good at times and then they also have these weird kind of angles that I just really really like even for being 20 years old it was just fluid and so easy to watch it's hard for me to describe and then the last part of this movie, I guess it goes a little bit with that slick, stylish nature, is that it's hard to describe, but it was just really engaging. Very few movies can really keep me engaged. Like most of the time I'm engaged about 30% of the movie, but this movie was just super, super engaging, so easy to watch. And that's probably because it was so slick and stylish. Let's jump into the cons of this movie. The cons is that it has some dated looks, but like I said, for me, I didn't mind it because I remember this time period, but it doesn't really stick out like a story 
sore thumb, but if you are a young person, if you're like 15, 20, this will look pretty dated, so I had to put that in the cons. Another con is that it's not fully flushed out now. I actually like movies where they don't hold your hand, where they don't overly explain every single thing. Like to me, I like I like a little bit of something to where we understand, but you don't have to you know, spell it out for me. There was a lot of, people would say confusing, I guess that's the right word, but there was a couple of things to where in the early part, like there was a rumor, like a slight rumor started with the main girl and you don't really know exactly who did it, kind of think you know, it's just like kind of, kind of confusing. And then there's other parts later on to where it almost seems like there needs to be a little more explanation to where how, how these scenes come about because it's just a little far-fetched and a little out there. But I just wish some things were a little bit more flushed out. And then the last thing was the ending. Now everybody just says how bad the last half of this movie, how bad the ending was. To me, the first half is close to great and the last part's okay. It doesn't really throw it away. It doesn't like, oh my gosh, you ruined it. It could have been way better, but I was satisfied enough with the ending here. Obviously, like I said, it could be better, but I was satisfied. The end scene, there's kind of like this big reveal or this big, oh, the whole time these people were on this side and this person's bad and this person's been found out, basically. It's hard to wrap your head around because this last person has done some really bad things. They've done some really criminal style stuff. And it almost seems like, oh, we figured out it was you and then it ends and it's like this guy kind of deserves to be in jail and all you want to do is have this big elaborate hey we know it's you but besides that guys i actually really 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 enjoyed this movie especially for the time period that it's in. It's, it might even be the best filmed from all these kind of movies, from Scream, from Urban Legend, from the actual filming. I just really, really, really enjoyed this movie. I really liked the actors and actresses. They all went on to do really, really big things. If I was gonna give it an own, a stream or a pass, I would give this a definite stream. Definitely check it out. For me, I'm gonna have to go with an own on this movie. But again, I have a couple of personal ties with it. But I think almost everybody will get a kick out of of where this goes and all the places that this ends up. It's a really interesting movie just to see how crazy things can snowball out of control. If I was gonna give it a rating, I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10. Very good, very watchable. I just really enjoy it. This is probably one of my favorite scream and style movies, like probably in the top five. They made like a tons of them, but this one was actually surprisingly good. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't watch it like a couple of years ago when I was going on my screen inspired movie spree because I saw it and I thought it was just gonna be a little too girly for my taste but I really, really did enjoy it. So let me know what you think of Gossip. Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? Do you know any other movies that sound like this? Also, if you have any other movies that are inspired by Scream that you like, I'll be very interested to see down below because I like all those style of movies. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all next video. Peace.